Hey friends, welcome to part eight of our HGR AI Fundamentals Ultimate course. Before we start looking into questions, if you are someone who is new to the channel and has come across the first video of our HGR AI Fundamentals, there are more videos in the playlists that were released in past and there will be more videos released in the playlist in future. So make sure to subscribe the channel, hit that bell notification icon so you are notified on when further parts are released. You have an AI solution that provides users with the ability to control smart devices by using verbal commands. Which two types of natural language processing workloads does the solution use? Your options are text to speech, key phrase extraction, speech to text, language modeling, translation. Friends, this AI solution processes verbal commands to control smart devices, which involves converting spoken input into actionable text and understanding its meaning. Speech to text converts spoken language into text and language modeling helps understand the structure and meaning of the transcribed text, identifying intent, grammar and context. Next question. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Folks, the first statement is, a restaurant can use a chatbot to empower customers to make reservations by using a website or an app. This is a correct statement. Azure Bot Service allows you to build and deploy conversational bots across channels, including websites and apps. And you can use Azure AI language to help bot understand natural user queries like book a table for four at 8 p.m. Next statement. A restaurant can use a chatbot to answer inquiries about business hours from a web page. This is also a correct statement. You can use Azure Cognitive Search for more advanced Q&A capabilities along with Azure Bot Service to achieve this requirement. Now friends, the third and final statement is, a restaurant can use a chatbot to automate responses to customer reviews on an external website. This is an incorrect statement. External websites like Google or Yelp do not expose APIs that allow businesses to post automated responses via bots. Azure bot service are designed for direct integration through supported channels, which is Teams, Facebook messengers, and not for external review sites. Question number 93. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. While presenting at a conference, your session is transcribed into subtitles for the audience. This is an example of your options are sentiment analysis, speech recognition, speech synthesis, translation. Now friends, when your spoken words are transcribed into subtitles, the process involves converting speech into text in real time. This is a core function of speech recognition. Now, sentiment analysis analyzes emotional tone in text. Speech synthesis converts text to speech. For example, a screen reader reading aloud. This is the reverse of what's happening here. Translation converts text from one language to another. This might be relevant if subtitles are in a different language, which is not stated here. Now, let's look at question number 94. Which of the following can be performed using Azure AI Vision capabilities? Your options are develop a text based chatbot for a website, identify anomalous customer behavior on an online store, integrate a facial recognition feature into an app, suggest automated responses to incoming email. Now friends, Azure AI Vision provides capabilities to analyze visual content, including facial recognition, object detection, image tagging, and text extraction from images. Folks, you will use Azure Bot Service to develop a text-based chatbot for a website. Identify anomalous behavior on an online store falls under Azure Machine Learning or Anomaly Detector. 
and azure ai language which is language studio or text analytics is used to suggest automated responses to incoming email now friends there is a link on your screen go through the link to understand more about image analysis capabilities of azure ai vision question number 95 which two scenarios are examples of a natural language processing workload your options are monitoring the temperature of machinery to turn on a fan when the temperature reaches a specific threshold a smart device in the home that responds to questions such as what will the weather be like today a website that uses a knowledge base to interactively respond to users questions assembly line machinery that autonomously inserts headlamps into cars now friends monitoring the temperature of machinery to turn on a fan is a sensor based automation it's more related to iot or rule based logic not nlp a smart device in the home that responds to questions such as what will the weather be like today involves understanding and responding to human speech or text this will likely use speech to text language understanding and language generation making it a classic example of nlp a website that uses a knowledge base to interactively respond to user questions is a text based interface that understands user queries and provides relevant responses it uses question answering language understanding or chatbot capabilities all of which fall under nlp now friends assembly line machinery that autonomously inserts headlamps into cars is robotics or industrial automation involving mechanical tasks not language making it a incorrect choice question number 96 again we have a series of statements and we need to tell whether the statement is right or wrong and friends the first statement is object detection can identify the location of a damaged product in an image Now friends object detection is a core capability of Azure AI vision that identifies objects in an image determines their location with bounding boxes and can be trained to recognize specific object types including anomalies like damaged products making this a correct statement let's look at second statement object detection can identify multiple instances of a damaged product in an image this is also a correct statement this is a common use case in manufacturing or quality control scenarios and friends the third and final statement is object detection can identify multiple types of damaged products in an image which is also a correct statement this is again a capability which is widely used in quality inspection retail automation and logistics question number 97 which service should you use to extract text key value pairs and table data automatically from scanned documents your options are custom vision face document intelligence language and friends azure ai document intelligence is the right service for this use case it uses ai models to understand the structure and content of documents making it ideal for extracting text detecting key value pairs extracting tables and working with scanned documents pdfs and images next question which azure ai vision feature can you use to generate automatic captions for digital photographs your options are image tagging image categorization image descriptions image type detection now friends image tagging assigns labels like dog beach sky to an image not full sentence captions image categorization classifies images into categories for example outdoor sport etc making it a incorrect choice image description feature which is also known as image captioning is specifically designed to generate automatic human readable captions for digital photographs it provides textual descriptions summarizing the main content of the image and friends the remaining option image type detection identifies image type which is like a clip art or a photo and is not descriptive next question which of the following is a use case for classification your options are 
predicting how many cups of coffee a person will drink based on how many hours the person slept the previous night, analyzing the contents of images and grouping images that have similar colors, predicting whether someone uses a bicycle to travel to work based on the distance from home to work, predicting how many minutes it will take someone to run a race based on past race times. Now friends, predicting how many cups of coffee, this is a regression task as we are predicting a numerical value. Grouping images by color is an example of clustering. Predicting whether someone uses a bicycle is a binary classification, making it a correct choice. Whenever the output is discrete like yes or no, spam or not spam, or dog or cat, then you should think about classification. Now friends, predicting how many minutes is again a regression task. Folks, if you are liking the content, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Let's look at question number 100 of the series. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. Azure machine learning designer lets you create machine learning models by, and your options are, adding and connecting modules on a visual canvas, automatically performing common data preparation tasks, automatically selecting an algorithm to build the most accurate model using a code first notebook experience. Now folks, Azure Machine Learning Designer is a drag and drop visual interface for building machine learning modules without writing code. It allows you to add and connect pre-built modules. It also lets you visually design, train, and deploy models and create machine learning pipelines using a no-code experience. Automatically performing common data preparation tasks and automatically selecting an algorithm refer to Azure AutoML and using a code-first notebook experience describes Azure ML notebooks. So friends, again, as usual, there is a link on your screen. Go through the link to understand more about Azure Machine Learning Designer and how you can use the drag and drop modules. Question number 101. You use natural language processing to process text from a Microsoft news story. You receive the output shown in the following exhibit. Basically on the left hand side, you have a story and on the right hand side, you have a processed text that was processed using natural language processing. Which type of natural languages processing was performed here? Your options are entity recognition, key phrase extraction, sentiment analysis, translation. Now friends, in this case, the text has been analyzed to identify and label specific entities such as dates and times, person types, organizations, skills, numbers, and location. This process of detecting and categorizing key elements from text is called as entity recognition. Let's look at question number 102, where we are going to go through a series of statements. And as always, we need to tell whether the statement is right or wrong. Folks, the first statement is monitoring online service review for profanities is an example of natural language processing. Now, Azure provides content moderation features via the Azure AI content safety, which can detect profanity, offensive language, and abusive terms. It can analyze text inputs to ensure content safety. Then folks, the second statement is, identifying brand logos in an image is an example of natural language processing. This is an incorrect statement. Identifying brand logos in images is a computer vision task which falls under Azure AI vision. And friends, the third statement is monitoring public news sites for negative mentions of a product is an example of natural language processing. And this is a correct statement. This scenario involves analyzing text data to determine sentiment, specifically identifying negative opinions about a product which falls under the NLP task of sentiment analysis. Let's look at question number 103. You send an image to an Azure AI Vision API and receive back the annotated image shown in the exhibit. Which type of Azure AI Vision was used? Folks, look at the image carefully before looking at the option. And your options are object detection, face detection, optical character recognition, image classification. 
Now this image shows bounding boxes around different fruits each labeled with a category and a confidence percentage. This is a characteristic of object detection. Now friends do not confuse this with image classification. In case of image classification the output would simply state the most likely label for the entire image for example fruits without drawing any bounding boxes or identifying individual objects. So folks, I hope you now understand why object detection has been chosen as the correct answer. But if you still have any doubts, please post them in the comment section. And folks, that's all for this part of the series. Make sure to explore other playlists on the channel as we have lots of content around Azure and AWS. I'll see you in the next part of our Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course.